Continuing with adding and subtracting application strategies, let's look at the next problem. So Jessica has been saving for a tablet for college. After six months, she saved enough money and spent $1,300 on the tablet. Jessica has $127 left over after the purchase. Then our question is, how much money did Jessica had Jessica originally saved? Okay, so this is our given information and our goal. Okay, so let's think about what type of problem this is. Okay, so she had some money, she spent some money, and then she had some left over. Okay, so looking at our chart, okay, we're going to think of this as an action change problem. Okay, so you could think of it as part, part, whole in a way because it's the part she had plus the part she saved. Okay, but it's typically easier to think of it as action change when you see something happening over time. Okay, so when you use this strategy, it will help you write, so first let me write action change. That we know that there's some original amount. And then there's a change. I'm going to leave a little space there. And then we have a new amount. Okay. Now for, so we have an original amount, something changes, something is added or subtracted, and then we have a new amount. So let's see how this corresponds to this problem. Well, notice we want to know how much money had Jessica originally saved. So the original amount is actually unknown. So I'm going to put a question mark here. That's what we're trying to find. Now, what was the change? Okay, you might think of this as the change because it's what she has left over. But we're thinking of change as an action or a change, something that occurred from the original amount. And that was that she spent $300. So we had an original amount, we want to subtract $300, and our result is the new amount. That's how much she has left over, which is 127. Okay. Now notice here, since we don't know what this number is, okay, we can't subtract 1300 from it to get 127. Okay. So this isn't in the general format. So let's think of how this applies based on our chart. Okay. One amount is added on to another, or one amount is taken away from another. So when we have one amount taken away from another, okay, we can think of it, well, the original amount is equal to, well, these two amounts combined. Okay, so instead of subtracting the 1300, we're going to add the 1300 to the new amount because here it was originally subtracted so if we need to rewrite it we can write it as addition okay so we have the change thirteen hundred dollars she spent plus how much she has left over equals how much she originally had okay. so this is uh, the structure of the problem so now let's solve this using place value. We want to add 1300 plus 127. Uh, zero ones and seven ones is seven. Zero ones and two ones is two. Uh, sorry, zero tens and two tens is two tens. Three hundreds and one hundred is four hundred, and one thousand is one thousand. Okay, so our answer here. Going back to what we were trying to find, how much money had Jessica originally saved? So we'll write Jessica originally saved $1,427. Okay. And it's worth noting that uh, you should stop and reflect on whether your answer makes sense. Okay, so if we had subtracted 127 from 1300, our answer would have been, let's see, $1,173. Okay, 
Okay. Would it have made sense that she originally saved $1,173 and bought a $1,300 tab tablet? It wouldn't have made sense. Okay. So use the context. Lots of times students are bothered by application problems because they seem tricky, but use it. Imagine that this is actually you. Okay. You have $1,300 dollars that you spent on a tablet this is what you have left over and then try to make sense of how the numbers and the structure are related to each other okay we'll do the next problem in a new video